Since the red meat industry began moving towards a national livestock identification system in the 90s, there's been an expectation that the benefits would go beyond assuring continued access to premium export markets. Well, NLIS is now a fact of life for cattle and mandatory identification of sheep and goats will be national from January 2009. And those predictions about other benefits? Well, they're steadily coming true. Margaret Bates reports. It's not much to look at, but the electronic button in these bull's ears is helping beef producers harness the power of information technology. At Roma in Queensland, Romagnola breeders Matt and Anna Ahern are preparing to send bulls to a client near Mount Isa. With a tag reading system at the scales, each animal's weight is recorded automatically and back at the office, fed into their herd management program. That's quite a benefit uh, to our business now in terms of uh, data collection. Um, we used to spend a lot of time you know, writing things down and then entering it into the computer. A lot of that process is now automated. NLIS was developed to provide a complete traceback capability. But some processes are valuating the system in-house, often in collaboration with MLA. At Oki Abattoir, a system has been developed that enables a cut of meat to be traced from the paddock to the butcher's shop. This traceability information, including the NLIS details, are then sent to a Japanese website, where supermarkets and butchers can go online to look up the history of the beef they're buying. The producers inevitably will, will benefit from this because of the added confidence that the uh, consumers are actually getting gaining from this because they can uh, find out where the animal is, is coming from, uh, that the Australian producers are actually growing very clean product, that we're not having these issues with diseases. MLA also worked with another Queensland export meatworks, John D, which is using its software to examine the health status of individual animals. At John D, software allows them to match offal pieces to individual carcasses via the NLIS. And now when Aquis rules an item inedible, the abattoir captures that information to their database. The company is still refining the system, but their regular suppliers are already beginning to see more detailed feedback about the health of their stock. To a producer that's feedlotting, we might be able to show that they have a high incidence of liver abscess, which seems to be a common, common issue with grain feeding. We could show that a producer has a live internal parasite when they thought they might have had a, an item under control. We can show that that wasn't evidence. We could show past damage due to previous uh, infestation. With key market segments in Asia wanting to order large quantities of offal, John Dee is keen to reduce the amount being deemed inedible and therefore increase their yield. It's been an MLA priority to leverage NLIS to create opportunities for every stakeholder in the industry. This is one driver of MLA's supply chain management program. Because they've got a unique identifier and the animal's coming in, they're able to capture and more information and feed that back to individual producers. And if we can get that information flowing right from consumer through to producer, then we can really add value right along the way to chain. At the moment, uh, we're able to uh, access our own slaughtered data. Uh, so any, any sort of steers we turn off, uh, we know what bulls they're by. We can get that carcass data back, we can pull it into the system and we can interrogate that and analyse it. And we've done that in the past. And I guess we've got to have uh, cooperators and people buying our bulls and using our genetics that are willing to share that data with us. Um, and if they're not willing to do that, and the preliminary talks we've had with them is that they are, they're more than happy to do that because it, they feel that it's in both our, our best interests. It's clear that in terms of the possibilities for utilising the NLIS, so far we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Music